Okay, now tell me what is, we'll see one more time. Okay, what is snowflake? This basic, you should be strong. Okay, tell me anyone what is snowflake? So these are important because like what, what without knowing what we are doing, no, tell me what is snowflake? Anyone, what is snowflake? Yes, tell me. Like, if, remember, you need to say, if you say only what in interview, we can able to say easily, uh, can able to communicate easily. Okay. Tell me cloud what is snowflake? Data warehouse. Snowflake say, is a cloud data warehouse. Cloud-based data warehouse. Okay, so data, one second. So data warehouse. Okay. So it is for OLTP or OLAP? OLAP. OLAP, OLAP. sir. OLAP. So it's an analytical <laughs> solution. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, give me one second. Okay, so it is for OLAP. So database is for it's for OLTP. So day to day transactions. Okay. So day to day transactions. So we'll go for OLTP. Historical data. Historical data will go for what OLAP. Okay, that is nothing but say data warehouse. Now what happened? Okay, so now Snowflake is a SaaS model. SaaS is nothing but what say software as a Service, service. Okay. So, what is means? Okay. No need to install any software or any hardware. Okay. Just we need to create account and we need to access. Okay. So that's it. Okay. So we'll see. Okay. We'll, we'll see. Okay. Now tell me how how many ways how many ways we can connect to Snowflake. Tell me how many ways you can able to connect to Snowflake. What are the ways we can able to connect? Three ways. Three, three, ways. three ways. What are three ways? Snow hmm, site, snow sequels. Snow site. Okay. Then one more thing is Class snow site. Classic okay, console. Snow. Okay. Okay. Classic console. So classic console. Okay. These are important. Okay. Interview layers. Okay. So on which UI we have work? Okay. I should say. Either snow set, classic console, or snow set. Okay, it's a UI. So, first to our user interface, and last with the CLI, command line interface. Okay. So, these are basic. Okay, now one more question is that what? Okay, see, I still have created the same thing. Now, this is the thing. So, go back here. So, so first click on this worksheet. Okay, now first step is that what? First, we should create one database. Suppose, like create database, database. Okay, so before that, what are the database environments we are having in the market in the in our company? A database environment. Database environments. Anyone? Hmm. Will be important. What database environments will have? Development, development testing, okay, so pre-prod, so, production. So pre-prod and production. So pre-prod and prod. Okay. So this is okay. So if any work come to you, if any work come to you, we'll start in where? We'll start in which environment? We'll start in development develop development environment you see first we should create development database so development schema okay then we should create the tables okay so today let's see this thing okay so before that tell me how can i communicate database or data warehouse by the which concept how can i communicate tell me how can i communicate database by using what sql sql okay sql okay so by using sql we can able to connect with the Database or data warehouse. SQL is something what say structured query Very. Line, language. Okay, same as okay. See, okay, see the image in here. Okay. So I want to come Pravin wants to communicate with Kumar by using what? By using a language. That is Telugu Hindi in a similar fashion. Pravin want to communicate database. Database can be what? Oracle database, SQL server, PostgreSQL, or Snowflake. So how can we get by using language that is SQL? So SQL will access a bridge. So after saying no, mute yourself. So it's still access a bridge between user and database. This part data warehouse. Okay. Now what it said simply it's a communication between user and database. Okay. So communication. Okay, got the point a little bit at least. So like okay, so it's a bridge between user and database, or it's a communication. Okay. Now in a similar fashion, what okay, SQL is having what? SQL is having commands. Okay, SQL is having 
SQL commands or languages or statements or basic building blocks of SQL. So today we'll compare this thing. Okay. What are the commands we're having? Tell me what are the commands we're having? Anyone? SQL statements or SQL commands? What things we're having? DDL. DML. Okay. So DDL. DML. DML. TCL. DCL. DCL. Okay. Give me one second. So DDL, then DML. Okay, then TCL. Okay, then DCL, DQL. So before that, we should see the data. How can I see by using DRL? DQL, so DRL, DRL or DQL, then DCL. Okay, we'll see this thing. Okay, so, so these are, if you know this, that's why it's a basic building blocks of SQL. If you know this thing, what happened? 20 to 30 percent of SQL is completed. Okay, that's why right. these are. Basic build. If you want to learn anything, start with basics. So here, this are the So DDL, so DML, TCL, TCL. Okay, now go back here step by step. Before that, tell me, Snowflake is like, what is the scope of the project we are going to work? Scope of project. Scope of project. Migration. Data, data migration project. So data migration project. So in the sense like what? So we are moving the data from different databases, or different data warehouses, or different platforms into Snowflake. Okay, so different databases or it can be different data warehouse or it can be different okay file formats okay file formats like csv txt json xml so we are put we are bringing all this data and we are putting into snowflake this is nothing but say data migration project we are moving this data from different sources and putting to snowflake so mainly for what data storage data processing and data analytics okay like okay like companies perspective is that what okay they want to get like okay cost perspective Okay, or you can say what? Okay, it's like okay, performance wise. Okay, so like most companies will check for whether cost perspective and performance. Okay, like that's why it's a data storing, data processing, and data. And so, scope of project is not it's a data migration project. So, we are moving the data from different database, data warehouse, and file formats into Snowflake. Okay, see this image. So, see, okay, so one second, okay, see, see, see. okay, so from different sources, we are putting all this data into Snowflake. It is for data storage. Data processing and data analytics. Okay, mainly what it said, said data warehouse is nothing but say OLAP. I want to understand my business. How can we need to store the historical data? Historical data is nothing but what is a data warehouse. It's a cloud based data warehouse. Okay, mainly for analytical solution. What the point of things? Okay. Now tell me what is the role we are going to play after completion of this role, role or position? Mm, tell me what is the role or position? Snowflake, Snowflake developer. developer. Or Snowflake okay. data engineers. So we call it Snowflake developer, we call it Snowflake data engineer. Okay, so one second. So it says Snowflake developer, or you can call it Snowflake data engineer. Okay, these are basics. Okay, like if anybody knows, like, okay, like, okay, income, like, introduce, they'll ask the same thing. Okay, what's the current role? What's the role? Okay, and what are the team members? Okay, what's the team size? Which country project is this? Okay, like this, you should know this basics. Okay, with, if you're not able to say, then you can say, like, okay, you're not working. Right? Okay, you got the point. Huh? Now tell me what the team members will have. Team members will have. Snowflake developer, service. Snowflake admin, testing team, BA okay, team. So, okay, Snowflake developers. Okay. So it'll have like if it is a big project, it will have like three to four, three to five members will be there. Okay. So junior developer, senior. These are the basic junior and senior guys will be there. So in a similar fashion, Snowflake admin. Okay, like okay, so Snowflake admin, then Snowflake architect. Okay. Now testing all this like QA team, okay, QA team, okay. So QA team, okay, then. Next one is that what, who will get the requirement? So BA team, okay, business BA analyst team. team, BA team, okay. Next step is that what, BA team, next one is what, team lead will be there, okay, so team lead, okay. It, there's so many teams, okay, ETL team. Next project one is the report, reporting team, okay, so project head, okay. Offshore location, anybody knows what is offshore and onshore, any idea? What is offshore and onshore or onshore? Or on site, any idea? On site, so it means India. India. Okay, offshore is nothing on but what? Okay, like company location is in India. Okay, okay, that office is in India. Okay, on site is nothing but what? It's nothing but outside India. Okay, like okay. so like, they'll ask like okay, who are they? Okay, what is the company project? Like it's a UK based project. Client okay. location. So client location, UK based project. Okay. 
or us based project okay germany or you like okay so what are project you are putting you should know all this like okay? us like the companies there in what in india or outside india okay? the client is in india or outside india okay so like indian clients are there okay indian clients or us clients okay or uk clients okay so depends on the or uk clients. so depends on this what point like this like so like you should know all this like okay, from starting day one you should know this okay what's the what is my role okay what the team members will have so which team members are going to work okay what's my company project okay what is scope of the project it's a data migration project if you got the point you should know this thing so then only you can able to understand things okay so getting the points so now we'll see the sql statements we are having ddl we'll see ddl okay ddl is what say data definition language okay so data definition language what are the commands we're having snowflake okay we are expecting snowflake tell me Snowflake, what are the, what are the, what are the things we are having? Create, create, alter, drops. So create, okay, in, in Snowflake, we are having create, alter, and a drop. Okay, so this, thing. okay, so today we'll close all these things. Okay, create, alter, drop. Okay, so what is create? What is create will do? It will create, create what? Database object. Database object. It can be what it can be table. It can be views. It can be database. It can be schemas. Anything. Okay. So it will create. Or it will create the new. It will create new objects. New database objects. Okay. In Snowflake. In Snowflake. Okay. So go to the pointer. So we'll see the syntax. Okay. So first, if you want to create any tables, what should be there? First, you should want to create what should be there? You should have what one database. Okay. First, you should get the database. Then schema. Then tables. Okay. This is the thing. Okay. So database should be created. Schema should be created. Then table should be created. Okay, so first point. So create database, database name. Okay, so database. So what I said in real time will have what? We'll have different environments. What environments will have? Okay, so database development, testing. So see what the environments are having? Very right. Okay, it can be development environment. Okay, so development, testing, pre prod, and prod. What point up? So see getting the points. Go back here. Okay, one second. Let me show you. So I have sent you a task. Okay, nobody sent the task. Okay, so then okay, so you need to do the task and you need to send to me. Okay. Okay. So see what I'm saying. You see. So data. Okay, whenever you get no requirement, we'll do everything in the development environment. So once it is done, we'll move to the everything in testing. So once you're done, everything will go to the production. Okay. Production is nothing but what's a live data. Okay, like okay. So like users are accessing the application. It's a production data. So it's development environment. So we'll do the things. Everything will go to testing. From testing, we'll go to the production. Okay. So this code all will be stored in what? So code repository or version control is nothing but it's a bit bucket or get help. Okay, these things. Okay, one more time. I'll take a screenshot. So remember starting day one. Okay, so prepare notes. Okay, prepare all these things. They don't need to be simple and easy to get things. Okay, so take the same thing. So what I'm saying, okay, for everything what? So in real time, we'll have environments will be there. Okay, so development environment. So what we're going to first get now, we'll do everything in the development. So once it is with more testing, from once everything testing is done, then what happened? It'll move to the production unit. So this, all the codes will be like, okay, suppose like creating a tutorial. This detail, everything will be stored in. Code repository or current version concerns, but it's a bit wicked or get tough. Okay, so one more time. So these are the environments. This code, everything will be more stored in. So either bit bucket or get tough or get. Okay, so got a point. This is another code repository or version current. Okay, so this question compels a lot. Okay, so they want to move the data from here to here by using this code repository. We can able to use. Okay, so development database, testing database, production database. This all the codes will be stored in either bit bucket or get tough. Got a point. Huh? So like this. Okay. Okay, so next what I said, create database, database name. So what I said, it's a development database. Suppose like, so today is August 17th, development database. It's a word. So remember, we should follow the coding standards. Okay, August 17th, development database. Okay, go back here. Now try to create one database. Okay. So now tell me, so for this one, do we need, do we install any software or hardware for Snowflake account? Tell me. No, sir. No, because the no. SaaS model. It's a SaaS model. SaaS model in the sense like what? No need to install any software or hardware. Everything will be maintained by Snowflake provider, the service provider. Now, service provider is a Snowflake. Okay. So, now what happened? Okay, now. So, see the same thing. By default, so show databases. Okay, so see the thing. By default, what? By default. Okay, so see the same thing. Okay. 
So these are the database. So by default, what? By default, Snowflake provided two database. These are the two database we have created. Okay, last, these are the what? Okay, so Snowflake and Snowflake sample data. These are Snowflake will provide one. So these two database we have created. Okay, now our requirement is what? I want to create our own database. So see the same thing. Now if I give here what happened, show database, it will be like this. Is it? Current date, August 17 database is the current date. So refresh are the so it should be remember you should be comfortable with this in real time will work here only okay so it should be comfortable okay august 17 db so 17 db so by default two schemas information schema public scheme information schema is nothing but what okay what the changes happen in the table or anything it will be tracked this in metadata information is good okay one more time information schema okay so all the informations okay all the informations okay of tables okay or columns or views anything all this will be tracked okay track trash to space in this information schema okay say metadata information if you're not able to understand we go back here metadata information okay now go back here now see the same thing you get some other so select star from information schema okay dot tables okay so see this in, dot database actually like database or schemas So see what I said by default what okay to see public schema information schema is okay now what happened now we want to create our own schema see next step is that what first we get database next step is that what we should create schema okay create schema so what we should create we should create pro pro production schema or development schema for, for testing purpose for developing purpose we should create development schema okay august 17 so dev underscore sc so take the same thing copy the same thing and try to execute now right now how many cards are there two records are when try to exit what happened, we get one more entry in this particular information schema. Okay. So got the pointer. So this metadata information will be stored in information schema. It will have so many views. If I click this thing, what happened? There are so many views are there. Okay. So like so classes, this if okay, go back here. So see columns, tables, these are the like okay, these are scheme, schema, database, everything will be stored in this particular information. This is metadata, like all the metadata information will be stored in this information schema. Got it a little bit at least. Okay, go back here. To try to put here okay so first i have created database then schema suppose if i want to know what is my current database select the current database okay so so okay basic that's what we should be strong that's why i'm saying slowly this up okay so database in a similar fashion we should see current schema okay how can you see that schema we can go for current schema okay see so we are in august 17 db dev schema is there okay now tell me in this particular database our schema do you have any objection so see Okay, so refresh these things. Refresh. So uh, now any objects are there? There are no objects. Okay. Now tell me in this particular database, I want to see the list of tables available. Tell me. Now uh, tell me, I want to see list of tables. How can I see? By using which concept? Show tables. Okay, we can go for show tables or we can go for what other concept? What concept? I never just never seen. I if you want to see the tables, you will go for okay. Is there an option? Huh? Other option? Just now see what we can go for select star from information schema dot tables. Okay, so there you can able to get all the information. So tables. Okay, see the same thing. So they have so many like okay, these are default schemas. Now what happened? Now we'll see our own table is there or not. Okay, right now getting the points. Huh? So that's like these are the information schemas. Are there, okay. Now if I create any table, now a record will get inserted in this particular table. Okay, so right now see. 31 records are there. When I try to insert a in create a new table, a record will get inserted. Okay, so First, you should create database. So see the same thing. Follow database should be created. So development database. Okay. So development schema. Okay. Then we should create what next step is by using table should be created. How can we get the table syntax for creation of table is what? Create table table name. So bracket open bracket close column one data type. Okay. So column two data type. Okay. Column three data type. Mm -hmm. Now tell me what is data type here? What is data type? Anybody, what is data type? Nah, what is data type? Mean? Huh? Nah, Just tell me. Nah, now, what nah, is nah, mean? Now, what's the meaning of data? I'm asking not types of data. What's the data type meaning? Yes, anybody, what is data type? Which type of data we are going to store? Store where for what? Which type of data we are 
trying to store for what? For that particular column. So trying to store for the particular column. Okay, particular column. Okay, so see, so see, we uh, are mentioning what column? Ah, uh, yes, yes, go ahead. Just one question. Mm -mm. When we create like a database, mm. so basically what does it do? So whether it create any file in the hardware? Okay, this one internally we can't able. So like okay, everything will be stored inside. We can't like okay, say like everything will be stored in micro partitions format. So like internally okay, we can't able to discuss. Like it, mostly the file format I guess. Okay, so internal mechanism we don't. Oh, I guess, I guess the file format is stored. Okay. So like separate file formats also this all thing will be stored. Okay. Now what happened? Okay, now tell me which type of data. See, see column one we are storing data type. So column two we are storing which data? Column two is okay. Now simple example go for what? So create. Table employee. So always remember whenever learning any concept, go with simple concept. Okay, do the complicated task one more time. So understand the concept with simple concepts. Simple concept. Okay. And do the complicated task. Then only you can able to learn any concept. Okay. If you go for complicated concept, then it will be okay. And with simple concept, simple examples. Okay. Simple example and complicated tasks. Okay. So okay. suppose like employee underscore t, employee details underscore t. It's nothing but it's a table. Now what happened? Bracket open, bracket close. Next one is that what? Employee ID. Now employee is what? Which type of employee is what? Number. Integer. It's a number or integer anything. Then what happened? Employee name. Okay, suppose like, okay, so what happened before that? Employee ID. Salary. Phone. Next one is that what? So what say? Everything be number format. Go for number data. Okay. Employee name. Okay. City. First name. Last name. Okay. Then what is one of these are stored in what? We should go for which concept? We should go for where care. Okay. So where care or text. Okay. Remember where care text or string. Okay. Or care or where care to everything be stored in where care. We'll see this thing. Okay. So where care text or string thing. Now suppose like date of birth, date of joining. So date lettering we should go for what? We should go for date, 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 date. Okay, what the point of? So date, date. Now employee is what date type? Employee is what date type? In one? Number. It's a number. Number. Okay, next one is that what? Employee name is what? Varkar. Varkar. Okay, we'll see this. I'm putting Varkar here. Okay, in a similar fashion. So, suppose like uh, city. City is what? Varkar. So I'm putting where cat for understanding purpose. I'm putting where cat. Okay. Suppose I'm putting okay. Suppose like uh, next one is that what column we can able have mail ID. Mail ID what can I put? I'm putting text. We'll see what will happen. Text in a similar fashion. Mail ID. Next one is that what can tell me any column names. So data but say date data type. Okay, then any in, in other concepts? Any other columns you can able have phone oh, oh, number. Salary it's a number. Okay, phone. Okay. So I want string string format. Anything string format. Mm, anyone? Mail ID then city. Okay. Address. Okay. Suppose I'm putting address. Okay. It's a I'm putting string. Okay. So string. Okay. So, so just I want to show something. That's it. Okay. So so bracket open. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So that's fine. Okay. So okay. Bracket open. Bracket close. Remember. Okay. Don't put comma. Okay. From here starting to ending. So remember always use language S and SQL. Write in Notepad plus plus. So bracket open. Bracket close. If it is ending, no need to put comma. If you want, if you are having one more column, we should put the same thing. So if you have no columns, no need to put comma. Okay. So each column should be separated by comma thing and follow the coding standards. Okay. So when you're running, so follow the coding alignment. Okay. Should follow coding alignment. And this is what it says. So right here, this is employee details, something like okay, it's a comments employee details. Okay. okay. So take the same thing. Now, first what should you have if you want to first you should have database, then schema should be there. Okay, take the same thing, try to execute. Now, right now, that one records are there. Now, try to create. Okay, see what happened. Table. Okay, so what's in something issue? Where is the issue? It's a spelling mistake. So, okay, what happened? One more time. So, remember by seeing the same, okay, see, and so for data pair in the sense, like what? It is spelling mistake. Okay. Now, see this thing right now. How many cards here? Here, 31 records. Now, we'll get what? We'll get 32 records. So see that records okay. So what's saying? It's a metadata when we store in information schema dot tables. Okay, so you got the point. Like this step by step, you know, so you can go for 
show tables or you can go for information schema dot tables this metadata information is stored in this particular table okay now see the same thing now what happened now i want to see the list of columns how can i see list of columns anybody tell me how can i see list of columns where is which command as to discuss or tell me list of columns describe so describe describe, okay. table, describe table describe table table name okay so same thing try to execute okay describe table table name okay. see this one this is important so i'm putting control minus okay so when you're learning take the screenshot and write like it's a simple and easy to get things here okay so take the same thing okay now see what happened okay now see the same thing now employed putting number okay and when you don't put anything now before that what is 20 here what is 20 20 is what data size or length sir. okay before that employee details t is what what is this one what is this concept employee details t is a hmm, tell me this is what table name this is table name and employee employee name these are what these are column names column names a number where texting these are what these are data types data what is data types what is 20 data. 20 is nothing 20 is what data size it's a data size it's a data size it's a data length data. so up to 20 cats only it can able to accommodate if it is more than 20 it will throw error okay so so far good okay now see this same thing when you put number now what's taking it's taking default 38 okay 38 says okay up to 38 length it can able to accept okay now see this thing now what no. go for where cat where cat to text string what is converting tell me internal is converting to what data type which data is converting to and tell me which convert which convert into internal which is converting to what which data type where care. Where care only. See the same thing. Okay. Now I'm putting where care. Where care to text string. So these are what is converting into where care only. So in the sense like what is are, you can say these are the synonyms for where care to text string. These are synonyms for where care only. So internet convert into everything into where care only. Got it? Huh? So one more time. So see, I'm putting where care, where care to text string date. But what happens is these this four things are converted into where care only. And what, when, see, when I put 20, it's taking 20. When I don't put no what's taking, it's taking what? How much it is? 16? 16 what? Tell me what is what 16? How much it is doing? Where can select 16 MB. 16, 16, MB. 16. So 1024 into 1024. Okay, so same thing. See what happened? So 1 MB equal to 1025 bytes or 102 kilobytes. Again, 1 kilobytes equal to 1024 bytes. Okay, so it's up 16 MB. When you don't know what happens, storing default of 16 MB. Okay, when you put 20, it's taking 26. Okay, so these are okay. So where we can put okay, same thing is what it is in converting to where can yeah, got the point. Huh? So there is no differences in our Okay, now I want to see the definition. Okay, how can I see the definition? DDL, I want to see the DDL statement of the table. Okay, by using what? By using select get underscore DDL bracket open brackets. So what it's a table. Okay, so table single quotes we should give the details okay so same thing so see what happened we can able to get the definition okay so create or replace same thing okay so if you want to see the columns we should go for like this if you want to see the get, get definition you go for definition if you want list of tables you go for either show tables or information schema dot tables okay these are the basic if you know this even like you can able to get comfortable okay first you should be comfortable with this ui okay suppose today's date is what august 17 okay so we can put august 17. Okay, tomorrow we can put we can go for August like this. August, we can put the same thing. Okay, August 8th. Okay, tomorrow we'll see the same thing. Now, suppose like if you want to get you know, we should go for suppose like tomorrow we'll see the same database, or I can go for this database. Okay, like this, we can able to get okay. So we should be comfortable. Okay, main focus is that so we should be comfortable with this UI. Clear us up, yes or no? Got it huh? like this. Okay, now what happened? We have created one table. So by using what? By using create this. Okay. Now what happened? Suppose okay. So I, now tell me, I want to see the data. How can I see data by using what? By using DRL or DQL. What is statement? Tell me, what is statement for DRL or DQL? Retrieval or query language. What is statement you can able to use? Anyone? Select. 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 Okay. Select. Select. Query language. By using what? Select command. Select to start from table name. Okay. See the same thing. We can able to get the data. Right now, there is no data. Okay. Now see the same thing. Employee ID, employee name, city, mail ID, address. Okay. So remember one thing. You can put instead of this one, you can put Parent. So the, remember, these are sessions. This is one session, okay. And go for it. This is other session, okay. So understand this come, okay. So this is current session. Now see what happened. We're getting, okay. Select start from. We're getting the data as. Is, okay? So understand one important concept. I want to say, okay. So same thing. Now see, we are getting the data as is. Okay. So so columns are there. 
now suppose client is asking client okay so client is asking to add to add suppose like your company's uk client is asking to add a new column okay new column in the employee details table okay now tell me how can I add simple example suppose okay tell me how can I add by which concept i want to add a new column to the particular table we should go for which concept alter alter, alter. Yes, simple. suppose simple example suppose i purchase a shirt okay now what happened okay suppose like i purchase so my size is m i purchased else then what happened which go for tailor will do the altering in a similar fashion so table is there but what happened based on requirement he's asking for to add some things how can do the changes for definition how can i do the changes for definition tell me how can you choose based on which concept basing which concept and tell me based on which concept alter alter basing alter statement alter is what ddl or dml is it ddl, DDL. so DDL. Remember, if you want to change any definition go for all ddl statements is data definition that is create alter drop so syntax is that what alter table table name okay so then add column name and data type okay so this is syntax way. alter table table name add column name data type okay if you want to add any column you can have a like see what is the table name table name is this things suppose we want to add department id okay i want to add department id department id is what data type tell me department id is what data type number so what, data type it's a number data type okay so see the same thing now see the same thing okay understand this concept okay now how many columns are there one two three four five six seven columns are there okay now tell me when i try to add a new column where it will get added in snowflake where it will get added at last at last okay see after what after salary after what after salary column okay, see the same thing now see okay see the same thing i'll get departed now tell me in other session data will get reflected or it won't reflect it. This is other session. Tell me it will get reflected or it will get not reflected. Tell me. Anyone? Yes, anyone any day? Not reflect, I think. Why? If reflected, why? If it's not reflected, why reason? We should commit. For data's commit required. It will yeah. reflect, sir, because DDLs are auto committable. So, see what happened. Okay, we are in current session. I am changing, but what happened? If you see this thing, so it will get so see the same thing, it will get reflected automatically. So, see, depart because what? So, DDLs are what important point? DDLs are auto committable, auto committable in the sense like what? So, auto committable in the sense like whatever the changes, so we are performing with the DDL it will get automatically reflected in the entire database. Okay, it will get entire reflected. Okay, we've got the pointer, so see one more time. Now what I'm trying to do is go back here now, trying to, suppose like we're trying to add one more column. Okay. Suppose I want to add department ID, department name. Okay, so department name, what is the type? So what it's a where care, you can put where care string or anything, okay, where care. Now see what happened, department, now try to, so see the same thing. See where can now see data is reflected. Now see this thing what happened. So we'll get here department name. So what about our thing? It will get reflected because so it will get because order is a detail statement. So detail statements are auto committable. So no need to do anything, it will get automatically reflected in the entire database in the different sessions or other sessions. Also, it will get reflected. Got the point of this is clearer so far. S in dot says no in one like this way. You can able to okay. Suppose see the same thing now. We can able to also. so this way. So got the pointer. So now what happens? Suppose like order we See now tell me, can we add the same column one more time? Huh? Can we order the can we can we add the same column one more time? No. No. See, see the same will get it will throw error. So column department name already exists. Okay. So got the pointer. Or else like okay, tell me, can we so copy the same thing? Now try to put here. Now tell me, can you create table with the same name again? Huh? Yes, anybody important? I want to create the we same can't. name with different with different no. columns. Is born. Okay. No. Why? Already the table is exist in the database. Okay. Now see what happened. It's saying. Now tell me, it's saying table. Huh? Already the okay. table is exist in the database. 
no no it's saying table huh? it's saying it's saying, it's saying no no so in the sense like what okay so remember so table is a what table is one object okay sequence is one object v is one object okay so it's saying like in the simply what okay so what is the conclusion is that what okay so in database okay only one name should be should be what should be given for given for one object for the point of this is important case okay. so one name should be given for only one object okay. like you, you can't just wait. it's a table or view okay see what thing see object in the sense like what everything it has object on it. so in the sense like what we can't able to create the same with different objects what the point of liquid at least as an about it let's see the same thing now suppose suppose i want to see how can i see the data select the star from this. so link expiring come back we'll see the same okay now i want to remove this table from the database how can i remove by using which concept i want to remove the entire object how can i remove by using which concept draw by using drop drop, drop, drop command drop. drop command okay so link expiring come back we'll see okay so we'll continue for there okay drop is it is used to it is used to remove the database object okay database object from the database from the database it is just remove okay see the same thing syntax is to our drop table table name okay so come back link expire okay so same thing so what the table name this is a table name okay so same thing now try to put here copy the same thing now try to execute okay see now what happened now we we'll see data is in our session also it will be there okay now what happened now i'm trying to drop this table okay drop this table now see data table is there it will say object does not exist what about the session okay now tell me see this thing okay one second okay now tell me i have dropped in this particular session now see table is does not exist now tell me another session it will be there or it won't be there okay tell me and reason i want okay, what's the reason i want tell me it will be there it won't be there you tell me anyone hmm? it will be there it won't be there i want the reason also tell me yes what happened tell me Want to okay, now what is the reason why it won't be there? The reason I want reason. That's fine. Okay, reason, reason, reason. What's the reason? It's auto committed. So auto commit details are statements are auto committable in the sense like what changes will get reflected immediately in the entire database in the different sessions. Okay, see this one. What will say? There won't be any records. So in the sense like what changes will get automatically looked at other session. Clear so far? So this is important. DDLs, okay. Remember, you need to put like this, okay. Like important points, you can put DDLs are auto committable, okay. Like this, okay. You should put, you should maintain like this. Got it? Let me tell this. DDLs are auto clear so far. This is clear. Okay. Now go back here. Now same thing. Okay. So what we have seen so far, DDL statements, definition create, move to create a new object. So order to change any definition. So drop to remove the things. Okay. This is DDL. These are auto committable, auto committable. Okay. Now we'll see one more time. Okay, we'll see the use case one more time and we'll see what one. So, now I'll go for the COVID use case. Okay. So see the and same thing. We used to modify the columns as well, right? Uh, come again, alter. We used to modify. Uh, we need to we can able to change the change the data. Okay, so change the data or change the data size. Okay, or rename the columns or anything. Okay. Same thing. It's an alter. Okay, alter is not but it's a change. Okay, it's a change. You can change the data type. Our data says our data length, our okay, our table name, our columns. You can able to change. This. Okay, so see the same thing. Now I want to add a member. Okay, see add a member. Okay, now tell me what is this concept. Now if I if I see the same thing, so I'm putting Pravin. Okay, data. Okay, we'll we'll see the center discuss today. We'll close the same thing. Okay. Suppose like port ID proof, I'm putting other card, now I'm putting all something number. Okay, so same. Now when I click on add, what will happen? Tell me generally what will happen. Generally, what will happen? Hmm, tell me generally what will happen. Hmm, tell me. It will add as a row. Okay. So before adding, before adding, you know what should be there? Before adding, what should be there? It will verify the data type. No, no, that's fine. Okay, like we don't know, no need all this thing. My question is that what will happen if I click on this and suppose like everything like data, everything is well done. What will happen? So where data will be stored? Table. Tables. Tables are there in where? Database. 
database okay see now tell me this is it will be like it's a development database or production database this is this is this is this application so the production okay see this is what okay end user so suppose i'm accessing in the sense like we say production database with the production database okay now what happen will go for okay so first we assume like one database okay suppose so we create one database okay production database so before testing okay this all this thing will done by testing everything now we'll go for production database okay so assume like prod db okay so prod okay so in a similar fashion create schema okay like this okay step by step so prod schema next is that we should create what one remember when i click on this what happen first we should have one database one schema one table should be there okay so we will create one table now tables now by this use case tell me what the table name we can able to use for this use case table name hmm, table name what can able can you put the employee registration sir hmm, tell me can you put employee registration huh? Can I give employee registration for this one? No. Employee vaccination details. Employee only will vaccine. Huh? No, tell me. I'm, I'm not employee. What, tell me. No, remove. Okay. My question is that what employee only will get vaccine. Huh? This is what? No. No. Anybody can. Anybody can able to vaccine. Huh? Hmm. Tell me what's the name. Covid vaccine details. Okay, so remember, we should give one proper proper naming. Okay, this is our job okay, because okay, we are data engineers. Which one? Customer vaccine. And customers yeah. only get vaccines. Huh? Okay, I'm not a customer. Okay, tell me. I'm a trainer. Tell me. Okay, see the police out. Okay. Okay, so what's the general thing? Okay, we can put COVID, COVID vaccination registration. Okay, registration. Okay. Registration, okay, registration details, something. Okay, we can put, okay, we should give one proper name. Okay, we can't able to go for employee, we can't go for a customer because it's a what say vaccination. Okay, what's the vaccination? Okay, there's so many like COVID. Okay, this is a COVID application. That's why we're putting COVID vaccination registration details. Okay. So bracket open, bracket close, semicolon. Next term is that what? Next step is that what? Next step is next column is that what we should give? What's the column name? For name, what's the data type? Name is what? Where care. Where care. We can go for where care. We can go for where care. We can go for what? String text anything. Okay, where care. So same thing, where care. Next one, gender is what? Where care. Where care. You can go for gender, where care. Okay, we can put the size in this. Okay, if you don't know, take the default 16 MB. Okay. Next one, year of birth is what? Year of birth? Day. Uh, year number. Okay. okay, can you put the spaces, sir? We can able to put, but what happens? Put double quotes. It's not what well. that's why you should go for underscore. Underscore. Year of birth. It's a what? It's a what data? It's a Number, see what happens in 1998, 2000. These are numbers, okay. Suppose I'm putting 2011. This is what? This is which data? Be? Data, but is what data? Date. I said date, data, but it's a date. Okay. So same thing. So date. So data, but it's a date, data type. Okay. So always follow what I said. We should follow the coding element. See, this is what this is having issue. Okay. Spelling mistake. Okay. When it's changed, you know what happened? Okay. When color change, say what? Say string, but it's not string. So what? Say where can you should use the data type? Okay. So like this, you should follow. Okay. So the always change the language S to SQL, and we should do like this data part. Next one is what data part is what say date data type. Okay, in a similar fashion. Next one is what photo ID proof. Okay, I'm putting other card, so other photo ID proof. Okay, photo ID. It's a where it's a what alphabets like where. Okay. Next one is a photo ID value. Photo ID where photo value. Okay, ID value. Okay, we should do the proper naming. Proper columns without any spelling mistakes and follow the coding. Okay. Now tell me other card I'm putting like this. Tell me what is the data for this one? Other number? It should be where care. Why would you have for other number? Uh, no, if someone gives pan card, ah, someone, yes, it sorry. may be. So, so see, suppose if you put other card as a number. Okay, now what happens? Suppose see, so see, it's working fine. But suppose I select for pan card. Pan card is a combination of alphabets, numbers like this. Then what happens? It won't work. We should go for where care. Okay, where care. Okay, go to point and see this is changing color is changing in the sense like what say it's about it's a string. We should give the power for that. Go to point them. Yes or no? Go back here like this. Way. Okay, click on add what will happen. So see before the first two, we should create one database. Okay, schema. I said go back here, right? Like this, you should understand. Okay, you should visualize. Okay, don't buy hard any concept. Okay, try to visualize and try to see the same thing. Okay, we're in current session. So try to create one more time. So prods, okay. See what happened. Okay, so okay. So first create a database. So see, 
So click on this thing. Database has been created. So what happened? If it will be there. Slow database will be there. Our information schema dot database is will be there. Now what happened? Create one schema. So see, prod database, prod schema. So see, refresh is the same thing. Now we'll get the same. First, you should be comfortable with this UI. Okay, so see. So production database, production schema, refresh these things. Refresh this key. Now what happened? Production schema. Okay, so right now there are. Now what happened? So try to create. Now what happened? See the same thing now. Okay, so go back here, try to refresh. What happened? You get one scheme. Okay, one object has been created. Okay. Now tell me in the session it will be there. Huh? It will be there. Tell me. Tell me it will be there. Huh? Suppose I want to production database, production schema. Click on this three dots. Okay, see right now we are in August 17. Now when you put set worksheet context in the sense like it will get automatically changed. Suppose one more time. Now if you put like this, now it will get changed. Now we want what we want, production database, production schema. Click on this thing. So set worksheet context, it will get automatically changed. Got the point? So now what happened? Now question is that what? Question is that what? Okay, now see the data. Now data will be there. Huh? This one. This one data will be there. Huh? There won't be any data. Okay, just we have created the same thing. Now see. Now tell me the same name. Can we create one more object? Huh? One more table. Can you tell me? With the same name, I want to create one more object. Is it possible? Huh? No, it's not possible. No, it is not possible. Yes, okay, see, okay, see, object does not already exist. Okay. Now, question is that what when is when I try to see we are getting the not up. Okay. Now try it now. When I try to exit in this statement, it will be there, it will be there, it won't be there. Tell me in this particular session. I want production DB, production sigma. Tell me it will be there, it won't be there. Come on. So it will be there, it won't be there. It will be there, sir. It will because it said create a say what said DDL DDL statements were auto commit auto commit to level enter database and enter sessions will be available. Okay. No, no question is that what you okay, know data is now table is there. Now where is the thing? Table is there. Now when you click on add what will happen, tell me data will be stored in where data will be stored in where and the database tables. By using which concept data will be stored, by using which concept tell me anybody knows sir? how the data will be how the data will be stored, how the data. How the data will be populated in the database tables. Tell me by using which concept? Anyone? Insert term. Okay, insert is what statement say? DML. By using DDL, we will go for creation, like creation, alteration, drop. Next one is what, what I want to populate. See, right now there is no records. Okay, there is no records. I want to populate. How can I populate using DML? Data manipulation, manipulation. Language, language. Okay, what are the commands we're having here? We are having insert. Uh, tell me what are the commands we're having in DML statements? Insert, update. Hmm. Okay, update. Then delete. 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 Okay, only three. Huh? There are two more things. I'll delete. Truncate. So in Snowflake, remember truncate is a DDL. A DML. It's a DML. Whereas in normal things, it's a D D DDL. Okay, say DML in Snowflake. And one more thing is that we are having one more thing important point. Merge. Merge. Okay, so this is important. Okay, we'll see this in merge. Important snowflake. Okay, see. Okay, insert, update, delete, trunk, merge. Okay, this will be used for okay incremental load. Okay, we'll, okay, see, in C, we'll see in the snowflake also incremental load. Okay, so, okay. so insert, update, delete, truncate, and merge. Okay, so insert, update, delete. Okay, now what happened? Now insert is nothing but what? Tell me what is insert? Anybody knows what is insert will do? Insert. Tell me what. Uh, a new insert. record will insert in the table. Table should be there or it should, it should not be there. Tell me. Table should okay, be there. So it should be there. Okay. So it is used to. Okay. So definition should be important. It is used to insert or populate a new record in the word. New record in the existing. Table. Existing. Table. Table should be there. Existing table in the existing database and scheme. Okay. Got the point. Huh? So see, it should be there. Okay. First, okay. it have database. Schema should be there, then what happens should be there, then we can able to go for insert statement. Okay. Syntax or insert statements is that what insert into table name. Okay. Bracket open, bracket close. So column one. So this these are important. Okay. So real time we don't use insert all this, but we should for preparing data, we should have the insert statement. Okay. Column one, column two, column three. How many columns are populating? Three columns. We're going for values. Okay. Val one, val two. Next one is the val three. Okay, see. So okay, remember when you are putting three columns, we should do three columns, three values. In. Suppose when I put val four, it will work. Huh? Anyone, anyone, any idea? Tell me, anyone. No, sir. No. Okay. No, sir. So anyhow, 
three columns we should do three values only okay we should remove this thing so when you have when you don't have a column don't need to put comma okay this is important okay so many times we do the mistake okay so see no need to put comma no need to put comma okay and remember one thing every statement should be ended with semicolon sounds like what from here this is starting and this is the ending point okay for every statement should be ended with semicolon sounds like this is starting and this is end now what happen take the same thing now we are in what current session okay so okay so before that one second i am trying to exit one statement we'll see this one later okay okay so we'll see this one later okay so so alex is in let one okay such in this now what happen okay now so remove this thing now what happen no how many cards there are no records are there no i am trying to okay now what happen what is the table name so this is my table name what are the columns are having name okay name gender okay suppose tell me can you write like this a manually take in the column then it's not possible instead of this what happen we are having concept like okay click the same thing now we are in what database to where in which database tell me okay database what is the database production db production schema okay so same thing now what happen click on this thing production db production schema now tables now click on this thing okay click now what's the table name this is the table name click on the third three dots okay place name in the header add columns in editor okay see what happen okay, one more time okay so okay put the put the cursor here now click on this three dots menu so place name okay place name not add columns in the header so all the columns will get placed here got the pointer it will get in the points so like this okay first you should be comfortable with this ui okay there's so many options just we should go for it okay so before that first i will take the name column and gender column you see the two columns name and gender column we'll forget all these things okay we don't want all the things so first you should be comfortable this way then you can able to play this okay so go back to the values okay so values so name what i mention name what i mention here pravin okay so pravin okay so pravin okay before that i want okay suppose like i want here of one okay i want here of one So here, but here, what what I mentioned here, here mention I what what I mentioned, two thousand eleven something, two thousand eleven, two thousand eleven. Okay. Now tell me it work at two columns and one values it work at. Tell me two columns and one value. Not work. It will not work. Okay. Not see the work. same thing. Try to exit what happened. Same. So see, remember you should be okay, by seeing the error message. You should you should be in a position. This is the issue. See, insert values does not match column is expecting to. But how many you got? We got one. Got the pointer. So they want two, but we got one only one. Okay. Suppose I'm putting something like not only it work. Huh? Two columns no, pretty well. It won't work. Yeah. See the same thing. It won't work. Okay. See the same thing. It will work. Okay. Now what happened? Two columns two. Now take the same thing. Now what happened? I'm putting now I'm putting probably. Okay. Now tell me it will work. Huh? Two columns two well still it work. Huh? Now it will work. It will work. See one more time. No sir. But but uh, uh, name naming convention we have to give quotations I think. So it say what says okay say number no need of anything number no but what happened this is string string composition should be enclosed with single quote single quote. Remember one thing so number no need of single quote but what happened strings like all words are special cards composition should be enclosed with single quote. See this thing data. Now how many columns are see what happened there are so many columns are there but we are populating only what we are populating only two columns. Remaining columns, what will get populated in here? What the columns? What will get populated? Remaining columns. So for gender data, but any anyone in here? Null. 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 See. Null. So, actually, see null. Okay. So probably two thousand eleven. Okay. So see if I put like this. Okay. You can put commas will move. Okay. So so far good. Now suppose like we are performing what we are performing current session. Now tell me it will be available in different session or it won't be available. This is important point. Tell me. It won't be available. Reason. Uh, it's not a auto commit right so see remember one thing see the data now data is not there when i go here what data is available in this particular session in this particular but it is not available in the different session reason is that what dml reason is that what so this is insert is a dml so dml are what dml are not auto not auto committable okay so this needs to be this this needs to be explicitly 
explicitly controlled. Tell me how can you control DMLs by using what concept? By using what concept? Commit. What? Commit. Commit is come under which category? PCL. 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 So remember, DMLs are called as transactions. These are transactions. These transactions, how can we control by using transaction control language? Names as it said, transaction control language. Okay, so see, DMLs are nothing but transaction. These transactions need to be controlled by using what? By using transaction control. That is, we're having commit and what do you think? Commit and rollback. Rollback. Okay, what is commit? What it will do? Tell me anybody. What is commit will do? Hmm. Tell me what's commit will do? Commits the hmm. data. What it commits? Where it commits? Once we commit the data, it will be saved. On saved where? Where it will share? And which In the table. Will table. Share? So table. Okay, so, so, data, data. so data will be permanently stored, stored in the database. Okay table okay, in the database table okay, what the point of, so you can see so data will be permanently stored in the database table okay what is rollback will do tell me what is rollback will do rollback will perform undo operation so undo simply it's what it will revert the what it will revert all the changes are what revert the uncommitted revert, okay, transactions. uncommitted transactions uncommitted in the sense mm -hmm. like what which are not committed those data will get reverted back to the previous day what the point of, so commit is nothing but what the uncommitted chance will get permanently stored in the database. Rollback is nothing but what? Okay, to the undo operation. Okay, the uncommitted transactions, it will get rolled back to the previous state. Got the point, no? Now tell me, I want to store the data permanently. Now what happened now? We need to, in this particular session, mm -hmm. we need to do Permanent. commit. Commit. Okay, commit. Okay, so, so, commit. so that data Permanent. will be stored. Ah, yes. yes do we have a save point or not here? No, no. In Oracle, it, it is in Snowflake. It's not there. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, come here to see what happened. So see the same thing. Now data will be available in the session. When I go for a session, data will be there. It will be available because so we have committed the transaction. When come to what happened, data will be available in all the sessions. Okay, it will reflect it in the entire database. Clear so far? Yes, no? so same. Okay. Suppose go back here. Now in a similar fashion, we we'll go for same thing. So like this step by step. Okay, if you don't know, like step by step, you should follow. Okay, line. Okay, don't be in hurry but to learn everything in a single day or single week. Okay. So see here, but. Now what happened? Now I'm putting, instead of 2011, I'm putting Praveen. Tell me it work. Huh? Anyone? No, sir. No. Why? The uh, year of birth is date. Day. Year of birth is? Date data type. Date data type. Date data type. Number data type. Number data type. Number data type. Now tell me how can you know it's a number data type? Suppose like somebody created this table. How can you know? So the point. Suppose like okay, we in real time we have we are, we are not okay. We'll have multiple snowflake developers are there. Okay. So somebody created a table, they ask you to load the some data. Then how can you know? Like it's a data type or number data type, or how can you know? Got the point, no? Like how can you know? So we should see the describe. Okay, so you get in the point. So we should describe table, table name. Okay, got the point. So you understand what, what's my com what is my thing? Okay, I'm trying to say what? Okay. So somebody remember we'll have like so many developers there. Okay, so somebody created, they are asked you to load. Okay, suppose like Junior developer, they have created a table, but you have asked to, based on experience, they are asked to load the data, but you don't know what the data is. Then what happened? So before that, try to execute the statement, see? So remember one thing, when I get numeric value, is not recognized, it's nothing but what's the word, it's a, which issue? It's a data type issue, data type issue. What is the data type issue? Is nothing but what, okay? In number data type, we are getting, we are getting other than number, okay, other than number. Got the point? Huh? So see what happened? So in number data type, what are we getting? We are getting other than number. Okay, we should get only number. Okay, so number will accept only number. Okay, got the point. See the same thing. Now, how can you know it's a thing? Go back here, describe the same thing. Now, what happened? So see issue with word. Okay, so you see, see the same thing. Issue that Pravin. So Pravin is there, what? Pravin is there in this column. So Pravin is in year of birth. Okay, go back here. So search for year of birth. Year of birth this column is what? Number data type. It will allow only number. Got the point. Let me get in the points. So now go back here. Now what happened? We should put instead of this, we should put number. We should put number. Okay. okay. Now tell me same thing. Understand one more question. Suppose I'm putting something like this. Tell me it work or not? Name. It won't work, sir. Right. It will work. Huh? Hmm. It will work at two options. Either S or no. S why? No why? No, no sir. No, no, no. Why? Because no, why? quotation, sir. 
no data type, it won't work. It will work. No issues. You see what happened? This is what name is what name is say what data type? It's a var care. So see this thing, try to execute. Tell me it is inside. So reason is that what reason is that what okay, go back here. So name is what data type? Name is what data type? It's a var care. So now tell me alpha a alphabets are what? Var cares, huh? Var cares. What about numbers? Numbers is also var care. No need. Okay, so no need to get in the points, sir. Huh? So getting a see what happened so it, it it will internally convert okay it will convert it to a string this format okay got the point now suppose i'm putting like p now tell me it'll work eh? tell me it work, eh? it to work why what is the reason a single quote space okay when you have like alphabet like when you have one alphabet, alphabet. composite word which is so what so error okay so we should put single quote okay so string composite bit enclosed Single quote. Okay, got a point. Say, getting okay. Remember, where can can hold. Remember, this is very important. Okay, so like that can be okay. Where can hold so only alphabets or only numbers. Okay, or only or okay or alphabets or numeric or you can show date. Everything will be shown in string format. It will show in string format. Okay. Now see this thing. Now what happened in this particular session? How many cards are there? You have how many cards? You have three records. What about the session? How many cards are there? Tell me how many cards are there? Mm, tell me how many cards? One or three? Mm, tell me one. simple thing. One only because so these two transactions are what only what? Only committed records you get stored displayed here. So because what these two are what? Uncommitted. No, I don't want this data. Then what I need to do? I don't want these two records. Then what should you do? Roll back. We should roll back. Okay, you can put roll back. Okay, and put anywhere. No issues. In the particular session, you can put anywhere. So roll back. Now we'll get what only the uncommitted. What happened? This two records will get anywhere because this record is what permanently stored. If you remember, roll back will not impact any records which are permanently stored. It will do the only for uncommitted transaction only it will work. Okay, so see, so like this way. Now what happened? Now I'm trying to record. So if you go back here. Now I want to take the same thing. So for all the columns, I'm trying to pop it. So you have got okay. So remove the same thing. Now what happened? Name. Suppose same value I'm putting. Okay, so same value is what? So same I'm putting Praveen. Okay, so Praveen. So Praveen is what? So string. String composite enclosed with what? Single quotes. Okay. So single quotes. So generate is what? Generate is male. Okay. So male is also what? So string. String composite enclosed with single quotes. Male. Next one year of birth is a 1998. Okay. So data but data but what are putting? They're putting what? So 0, 5, 1, 11. Okay, we'll see what it will happen. Okay, so 0, 5, 0, 1, 2011. Okay, so same thing. Now it's about say date. We should put single quotes. We should put in single quotes. Now photo ID. Photo ID is what they're expecting. They're expecting pan card. Okay, so pan card, so pan card is a single quote. Okay. Now tell me photo ID. Suppose I'm putting like this. 1, 2, 3, something. Tell me it'll work or it won't work. Photo ID value. Tell me it work or it won't work. Mm, simple one and tell me it work or it won't work. Yes, no. It's going to work. Why, why? It will work. It will work because where can, can hold work. any type. It can go for string or anything. You see, it will work. Now, data will be there. What? See, this is important point. Okay, see, date is not recognized. Anybody can able to tell what exactly this issue? Remember when you get the issues only, we can able to run. Okay, tell me what is the thing? Format is different. We, okay, so it's a date, date format issue. So see what happened in, in remember in each database, each database will have its own its own date format. Okay, we should we should go for the same thing. Okay. Now what happened? You're having one thing. Suppose like I'm having current date one punch. Okay, so this is so when you get like this is a date format issue. Okay, see this thing. Now, what is this one? Tell me. What is this one? First one is what? Year. Next one is that what? Why, why? What is it? Month. Did you write? Let's say yeah, month. Month. What is this one? Month. 17 is what? Date. So, D -D. year, month, date. But what you have put here? What is the format we have put? What is the format we are putting? Date, month, year. Date, month, year. Okay, so what happened? Yeah. We should put the same format. Okay, so same format we should put. Okay, so like this. So same format okay like this okay so what is the format are expecting year okay see first you should put 2011 okay now next one is the month month is what january they're putting see what is the month they are putting it's a january month 
So if you have the data k as well, 0, 1, so 0, 5, like this. You see the data. Now see the thing what happened. Okay, like so number of rows inserted, we get one. Okay, remember. So for each and everything, a query ID will be generated. Will be seen. Okay, understand what? For every statement, what is it? You'll get one query ID. This will see in Snowflake. Understand what? For every statement, we execute what happened? A query ID will get generated. Now go back here. Now see the same thing what happened? You'll get one record in the but two records in the session. What about the session? Tell me it will have only only what? Only one record because we did not commit. Now I want to show the story data permanent. We should go for what? We should commit those changes so that what uncommitted changes will be stored permanently in the database so that it will be available in the entire mm -hmm. session and in the database got it so like this you should understand step by step clear so far so day, suppose like what issue we are getting we are getting one issue is that what okay one issue is that what so data okay data type issue so what okay remember numeric value issue, issue is nothing but what numeric issue is nothing but what yes tell me this is important tell me numeric value issue is nothing but what Hmm. Integer number. So see integer number. Okay, remember one thing. Okay, so remember you should say clearly. Okay, interview. Okay, remember. So one more time. Okay. So one point is that okay. Understand the concept clearly. Okay. And okay, so that what we need to we need to communicate clearly in the interview. Okay, so interview. this is our main goal. So because so how can the interview knows whether you know subject or not? We should communicate clearly. Okay, each and everything in a clearly manner. Okay. Don't say one word answer. What is the issue? What tell me. So now numeric value issues that what tell me what is the numeric value issue? Mm, tell me numeric value issues that what tell me? Numeric value P is P, P is not what is the issue? It's a what issue? Mm, tell me what is the issue and what does it mean? Okay, I want the definition. What the issue is here? Tell me issue is what? Mm, tell me issue is what? Yeah, try to insert the string value with the numeric value. Okay, see. What come again? Mm -hmm. right. We should communicate. Tell me, I want the clear explanation. That's what my point is. Okay. So, in place of number, okay, see number, see what happened here of but see PP is what? PP is what? Year of but. In place of, in year of but, what is data type? Data type is what? Data type is number. In place of number, we're expecting string. Okay, string. okay, in number, we'll expect only number only. But we get other things through numeric value. It's a data type. Issue. So, like this, you should say clearly. It's a data type issue. Now, suppose, like in a similar fashion, go for like this. Now, this is what concept. Okay, this is what. Okay, so this is something. Okay, so I can... Now, see what happened. Date is not again. In the sense, like what say? Which for which? What is issue? This one. What is issue? Say date format issue. So for each and everything like this, so we should understand the thing clearly like this. Okay. It's a date format issue. Clear so far? In our session now, okay, date format issue. Okay. So clear, suppose I'm trying to add one more column. Tell me how can I add one more column to the existing table? Suppose I want add something like, uh, what is the name we can put for? Suppose I input city column. I want to add city column to the particular table. What's the concept we should use? By under, using alter command. Under command. Wait one second. Alter table 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 name. name table name okay so table add, name is what add. is the table name table name is the add okay table name is this thing add city it's a what type where care to where care I'm putting I'm putting something like ten so I'm putting ten okay see the same thing now what happened now where it will get added it will get added the last okay since since we did a statement what it will get in the other session also it will available see the same thing. Okay, it will be higher city. Okay. Now suppose I'm trying to add one more column. Suppose I'm putting city. Okay. Now see the same thing. Now tell me what is the issue? What is the issue here? Issue is what? It's a, a column. Compiler. No, compiler. That's fine. Okay. okay. See, this is it. So this is what issue. Okay. So remember. So for every statement, what it's it still check the compilation. Okay, it'll check okay, the compilation will work on. See what happened? Seven records, are, seven columns are there. We are getting six columns, six values only. Okay. So suppose I'm putting something like this way. Tell me something like Hyderabad city. Okay, Hyderabad city. Okay, stay. Me. Okay, now tell me it work. It won't work. Anybody? What the issue? Hmm, tell me it work. It won't work. It won't it work, work, sir, because data size issues. So see this same thing. Okay, we'll okay. We don't know. We'll we'll try to exit and see what happened. So see. Okay, this hmm. is the same. 
So 2001, something like you can find it. Let's see what happened. Now see, string Hyderabad city is too long and would be truncated. Okay, see, issues that what, okay? So when you have like this, you no, know, go for the particular column. What's the column? So this is a string, okay? Hyderabad city is say, 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 say it is too long and would be truncated. Okay, go back to the city and try to describe. Okay, so describe, okay, like this, okay? So you should, you should go like this, you should debug. Okay, what the issue is saying like, issue with what particular column, what issue with? So this city column, describe table, table name. Okay, so table name. Now see the same thing. Now try to exclude. What is saying? Tell me. So see, describe table, table name. What is saying? Tell me. So see, it's having cities having 10 digits. But you see, this is more than 10. This is what, this is issue. What is say? What issue? Tell me. Say, it's data issue. Data size issues. Say data size or data length. Size issue. Data size issue. or data length. Okay, like this, you should understand data size or data length. Compulsory this will be there. Okay. Once once you're learning, it will be data size issue, data length issue, data format issue. These all things we should handle. Okay. So now what depends now how to rectify this thing? Tell me how can I rectify this issue? Mm, tell me how can I rectify this issue? Anyone? Uh, we need to increase the size. So we need to increase the size. How can I increase the size by using which concept? Uh, so alter comma. Alter comma. Using okay. alter set. The definition. If you want to change any definition, you go for alter thing. Okay. Alter table. Table. Table name. Table name. So we should go for modify keyword by using modify, modify. keyword. Now we should go for modify. What we need to modify? We should say into the size. Okay, from suppose I'm putting from 10 to 30. Okay, so in the try to execute. Now tell me this is what this is what this is. This is what this is DDL statement. When you go back here, now see what happened. Get 30. What about tell me it will be there, right? It won't be there. Tell me it will be available here because it's a it's a DDL statement, so it will get automatically. Now, when try to exit, now what happened? We there. so clear so far. And also, so, now. so see the same thing. No data will get populated. Okay, so data type, okay, like this. Okay, so what issues will get? Okay, we'll get data type issue. Okay, data that is what? Okay, data format. Okay, date format issue, date size issue, data length issue. Next one is that what? So size issue. This is size issue. Next one is that what? 10 columns are there. Suppose I'm having 10 columns. I'm putting five values. Still, it work. It will throw error. In a similar fashion, ten columns are there. I'm putting eleven columns. Still, it work. It will throw error. Okay. So you should remember when you do mistakes only, you can able to learn the things. Got the point? Huh? Date format issue, data size issue, data length issue. Okay. Like say columns issue like this. Got the point? A huh? little bit. Yes, no? So see, understand this concept clearly. Getting the points? Huh? Now so some topics are pending. So DML will see tomorrow. Okay. Like this step by step. First, we should what? We should get database. Database, then schema should be there, then table should be there. Tables, how can I create by using what concept? By using deal this create statement. Now tell me how can I populate data by using what concept? Select to select no no. I want to populate data data. Insert data. insert sir okay. DML In, concept. It's a DML. We should go for insert command. Okay. Now DMLs are nothing but say transactions. These transactions are not auto committable. Okay, not auto compatible now tell me how can i control this transaction by using what concept by using which concept by using which statements tcl tcl, TCL. TCL that is commit okay commit. 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 Now, tell me how can i fetch the data or how can i see the data fetch or see the data by using which concept select statement select statement that is dr okay this not oh, this is not it's a dr dr data retrieval language okay. so see database what we should go forward before that we should have one Snowflake account, it's a SAS model. Okay, SAS model. Okay, SAS model. Next one is that what don't you know what happened? We should go for snow site. Snow site. Okay. So database schema like this. We can okay. so like this. Okay, understand this concept. So before that, we should have DCL is nothing but we'll see tomorrow. This number to create anything, we should have what permissions. Permissions who will get by using what? By using grant or revoke. We'll see this one there tomorrow. Okay, if we want to get anything, what we should have one permission. Okay, this permission will be given by grant and revoke this. this. What the point? Like this, okay. Snowflake account create, snow site will be there. Try to create one development database. So, development database. So, development database. Okay, development schema. So, table should be created. Like this, we can able to go. Okay, so let's, okay. step by step, we should go. Then only can able to learn easily all these things. Clear? Let's get in the points. So, like this, okay. Data account create. So, database snow site. We are going for snow site. Development database schemas create as much. so I'm giving I'm giving a set of five tables try to create tables and try to populate some data okay and try to see the data okay clear so far and also anyone in dot sir 